you have a purpose in bringing the soul closer to the world. You have a reason, don't you? For what? To make them be born again. It is our job to help them be born again. By what are they born again? By hearing the word. But when the soul is sitting next to you and falling asleep, you just leave them sleep. Please wake them up. Though I say this, you who brought the soul is even more falling asleep. Or though you are not sleeping, but you are just sitting and watching them doze off and frowning. That's all. You have to wake them up and make them listen to the word, or go to the back and stand there for a while with them and wake them up and come back to your seat. You have to make the soul listen to the word, because they must hear to be saved. But that's not all. You must also ask them and know if they understood the sermon well or not. Or pastor, they told me not to ask. Ask them. It's okay. You are not going to ask because they said not to. I hear some of them agreed to come on condition of not asking them, but you still have to ask them and let them have a consultation. They are only making excuses to escape. Doing that way, you can't save them. If you brought them to the word, it is your job to help them be saved. So you must do your best to make them understand the word. But once they are saved, that's not the end. If you give birth to a baby, but leave them alone, they will grow up with animals. The the baby will become like an animal, like children abandoned in the forest. You must make them abide in the fellowship, by any means. It's been also entrusted to us to make them abide in the fellowship, so that they can grow up into the children of God, well pleasing to God, and become the servants of God. Let's look at Matthew chapter twenty-eight. Verse eighteen. Matthew chapter twenty-eight, verse eighteen. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying. All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. It says, "Make disciples." We must make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. We must make disciples. We must become God's own people, who imitate the Lord's life. Some people say that they are saved, but they don't go to church. I doubt if they are genuinely saved. There is no such salvation that forgets grace. Some people say they are surely saved, but they hate the church. Don't say that if their salvation is genuine, why do they hate the church? Whom, having not seen, you love. How can I follow his will? That is the heart of the saved. Anyway. If we have a heart to live for the gospel, and pray earnestly, God will prepare us and lead us to reach out to those who are really in need. 
then from then on, we must not lose those souls. We must live with the determination to sacrifice everything in order to make them disciples by leading them to salvation and a fellowship to the end.